This is Duke University. On Friday, President Richard Broadhead, Provost Sally Kornbluth, and Trinity College Dean Valerie Ashby convened a conversation for the Duke community. Page Auditorium was filled to capacity with faculty, staff, and students who came to share their experiences. Before the program began, a group of students took the stage saying too little has been done to address inequality at Duke and they want to see change. We will not rest until our voices can no longer be ignored. As soon as the forum got underway, Duke's leaders acknowledged the string of recent incidents on campus, including the defacement of a Black Lives Matter poster, a homophobic slur and death threat in one of the residence halls, and a noose hung in a tree on campus last April. Intolerance and bigotry have no place, most specifically, mm -hmm. in a university community, mm -hmm. and they have no welcome and will receive no welcome at Duke University as a community. To begin improving things, Broadhead said the campus will form a working group to address biased and hate-related incidents. It will have students, faculty, and every other member of the community will be in it. It will be to see what can we learn, if anybody's doing anything better, how can we learn it and appropriate it and institutionalize it here. The administrators listened to concerns from students. What else are you doing? Because if it's not working or it's not working yet, like you need to do more. And clearly when things keep happening on our campus, it means you need to do more. A target against one group is a target against them all. What are you guys going to do to change the faculty composition so I can see someone who looks like me in a position that I really want because I wanted to be an educator too? Students asked President Broadhead why the student who was found responsible for hanging the noose was not expelled. Can you honestly tell me that you believe that there is no racial motive behind the noose hung last spring? President Broadhead said the incident was investigated by local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies and did not result in any charges. The student went before a university panel and was disciplined. The horrible offense, everyone's certainty that the person must have exactly known what they were doing when they did this thing, they decided that they were not persuaded that that was true, and so they chose a serious but a milder penalty than expulsion. Had the person been found to do it on racial means, I'm positive they would have been expelled. Students also asked for more diversity among the faculty and more support for mental health and stress issues. And the comment about us not having any Native American faculty is absolutely true. Mm -hmm. And one of the main goals going forward of this implementation committee is to make sure we have a diverse faculty and also an inclusive environment where, frankly, right. folks want to come. Right. People don't want to come and be the only one. At the end of the discussion, Broadhead promised students, faculty, and staff that their conversation is just the first of many. It is the privilege of this university to bring incredibly talent, talented and aspirational people together to try to create a world where they can reach for themselves, lift themselves above themselves, lift each other above themselves, to find out the thing they can do and be, and go and do that in the world. That's what this place is here for. It actually takes everybody, and it takes even the everybody who were here and the everybody's who weren't here, and finding ways to stitch these things together uh, and uh, create a sense of clear aspirations for ourselves and assume the responsibility to advance toward them. Reporting for Duke University, I'm Julie Schoonmaker. Produced by Duke University.